So the BVI is interesting from a crypto perspective because of its general apathy towards cryptocurrency. And it's much like the UK, where in the UK, crypto isn't deemed to be a form of currency or fiat currency. And therefore, there really is no regulation around running a crypto exchange. And the BVI is much the same. However, the BVI takes it a step farther and has created like a regulatory stand sandbox and done some other things that would encourage innovation on the island, encourage crypto companies and blockchain companies to locate on the island. And of course, you have the added benefit of it being a tax-free jurisdiction, superior asset protection, privacy, the whole nine yards, which I spoke to before. But when it comes to starting a crypto exchange in BVI, there really is no license to get if you wanted to domicile in BVI. Now, you obviously have issues when it comes to where that crypto exchange can operate, right, um, outside of the BVI, but as it relates to just licensure, there really isn't anything to speak of. What is interesting and what you're seeing with some of the applications that are going through the Financial Services Commission in BVI is that they're applying or be willing to apply their securities dealer and securities licensing regime to crypto. So you have under the securities dealer license, you have a number of different activities that range from your traditional, you know, quasi broker dealer type um, activities to uh, running an exchange. And for security tokens, it's really an ideal jurisdiction because they appear willing, the regulators appear willing to onboard companies that are seeking to create crypto based broker dealers or exchanges that are dealing exclusively or primarily in security tokens. Um, and in addition to that, what you have is a regulatory sandbox, which just like the regulatory sandbox in Singapore, which I've, I've touched on before, it's a temporary license that doesn't fit any particular parameter, but allows the applicant on a scaled down basis to operate and obtain the license and then operate for a limited period of time under volume constraints. And Huboy has done that for a derivatives exchange. And they're currently the only party in the sandbox. There's other applications pending, but from my understanding, the application, I mean, having seen the application, but knowing of the application process that the member of the sandbox went through, it was actually fairly easy and fairly cost effective. So it's an interesting, you know, alternative to like a Singapore, uh, Bermuda, Antigua right now. But I think the real value lies in the trading of security tokens, right? Because what you see in like the US, for instance, as you see multiple attempts at like onboarding alternative trading systems through pr the purchase of broker dealers, you see, you know, one or two attempts at creating an uh, quote unquote national securities exchange based on security tokens, but they've really been stalled or they're in their nascency, right? They're, they're in the infancy in the sense that they really haven't developed into liquid markets. And while the BVI license wouldn't necessarily give you the opportunity to operate in the US if it related to the offering of security tokens, right? As a securities dealer, a security token exchange could be an option, right? It could be an option. And it's sort of a legal gray area because you have various states and various states treat crypto differently as we're finding out. Some are fiat, some are not. So um, the BVI, I think when you look at, you know, obviously for crypto hedge funds, it's superior to anything for, um, you know, OTC trading, it's, it's a great location. But I think if you take it a step farther and dig deeper into their licensure process, especially the securities dealer licensing, and then also the securities exchange licensing, it's really an ideal spot if you are looking to be a front runner and get that first mover advantage in the securities, the security token arena, which 
you just don't see, right? And I think there's there's definitely market, especially as in locations such as the US, more and more tokens are becoming securities or being deemed to be securities. Um, they're going to need a place to go, right? They're going to need a place to list. And this could be a fantastic opportunity for um, holders of these tokens, promoters of these tokens rather to, to uh, check it out. So I'm Adam Tracy. Definitely hit me up if you have questions. Adam at Adam Tracy, T-R-A-C-Y dot I-O. And I will talk to you soon.